Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, smallest string starting from leaf. We're given the root of a binary tree. Each of the values is gonna be from zero to 25 and each of those is gonna to correspond to lowercase a through lowercase z. Nothing super crazy, it's just something that we're gonna to have to account for when we code up our solution because what these numbers actually represent is characters and so those characters are gonna form strings and basically, we want to take every possible path from the root to every single leaf node and among all of those so for example take this this forms a string now we don't read it from top to bottom we read it from bottom to top so that's also important so this would represent d b a i have the uppercase versions of the characters but we're dealing with lowercase just ignore that but another path uh this other one over here would be e b a and so we can do that for every single path from the root to a leaf among all of those we want to return the one that is basically the smallest in alphabetical order which of these would come first well lowercase d comes before lowercase e so this one is smaller than the other one now what if we had two strings like this d b a a well they kind of remind us here that if two strings have the same prefix but one of the strings is longer then this one is considered to be smaller knowing all of that this problem isn't super crazy we can brute force it or basically take every single one of these strings and then figure out which one of them is like the smallest in order and that will work as long as you're familiar with binary trees and you can do one of the traversals very well we're going to do depth first search it's not super crazy but before we even get into that let me quickly explain why the greedy approach will not work for this problem what do i mean by that starting from the root we might intelligently be able to know which path to go down should we go down left or right and we could do that maybe by looking at these characters maybe we could just figure out which one of these is smaller technically b is smaller than c so we'd know that the solution lies on this side of the tree well let me quickly show you why that won't work let me add a node over here that is lowercase a now i introduce a string here that reads like this a e c a and there's not a single other string in here that is going to be smaller than this one so this approach trying to be greedy by just looking at the direct children and then picking the smaller one it will not work and the reason is because they told us that we have to read these strings from bottom to top if we were doing it from top to bottom then it would be pretty straightforward because at that point we'd know that our string has to start with a lowercase a and for the second character we can pick either a b or a c and of course if we pick the smaller character first it doesn't really matter what we pick over here this string is technically always going to be smaller than this string no matter what we put for these other spots but that's why greedy will not work so we're going to resort to pretty much the brute force with a depth first search the way we're going to implement that depth first search is we're going to have a pointer pointing at where we're currently at but as we go down the paths we're recursively trying to figure out what is the smallest string here and when we say that we again are not going to think about it in terms of this node we are going to wait until we get to a leaf node by the time we get there as long as we're keeping track of the current string and when i say current i basically mean like if we went down this path we went here then here and then here our current string should basically be this like from top to bottom we should have the character d b a and then recursively we're gonna say okay from here let's pop back up and then go down here now so recursively we would then consider the string e b a this is basically recursively a way for us to enumerate every single one of these strings as long as we have a way to do that we can keep track of either a global or just return it 
if we're doing it recursively, we can basically among strings, we can very easily compare them and figure out which one is smaller. That's pretty easy to do in most languages with just like a comparison operator, at least in Python, it's that easy. So that's what we're going to be doing. So nothing super fancy. The overall time complexity in terms of nodes, we will be visiting every single node in the tree. We kind of have to because we want to look at every single string ending at a leaf node. We can do that in big O of n time. Now, the way string operations work, technically adding and removing from a string is always an O of n operation. So if we're doing that for every single node in the tree, I think it would be n squared. Usually people seem to ignore that, though. People seem to ignore that it takes O of n to update a string. Uh, in terms of memory, though, it's also going to be O of n if you think about it in terms of like the string that we're going to be returning. But if you're not considering that, it's going to be the height of the tree because of the recursive call stack, which in the worst case, the height could be big O of n. So now let's code it up. The first thing I'm going to do is actually create a helper function. That's what I'm going to call it because I'm not super creative. And the reason I'm doing that is just because we need another parameter. Keeping track of what current node we're at is fine. That's what I'm going to use for this but i'm also going to have cur here which is going to represent what our current string is so far and that's why i'm defining this helper function for that reason i could define it separately as a part of this class but i've just chosen to nest it inside of this other function just because it's a little bit more convenient for me but now it's going to start out as a simple dfs so if not root let's just return there's nothing for us to do here but then we are going to keep track of what the current string is suppose the current string was ABC. That's from the root. So now we're at a current node. That's our root node. And so what we want to do here is say root dot value, add it to this string. And we definitely want to do it in this order because we want this value to go before all of these because the leaf node should be the first value in the string. Now, the only thing is this is an integer, remember? So if we want to get the character that it corresponds to, the math that I know of is we can take the ASCII value of lowercase a. And then to that, we can add this integer. It's going to be from 0 through 25. Now, this should be the ASCII value of the the new whatever character this value corresponds to. So then we convert it back into a string like this. And so then we take that string and add it here. So that's just to keep track of what our current is so far. Now, there's going to be a few cases here. There's going to be the case where the current node does not have a left child, nor does it have a right child. So for that, it's pretty straightforward. We would just return cur. But before that, let's check a few things. Either we have a left node and a right node, like our left child and a right child, or we just have a right child or we just have a left child. And the reason I structured it like this, you'll see in a second, if we have both a left and a right, well, then we have to figure out which of those leads to a smaller string. And so what we would have to do is call helper on root dot left, passing in the current string so far, and we'd have to call helper on root dot right, passing in current so far. And then among these two, we would return the one that's smaller. So in Python, it's actually really, really easy. You just take the minimum of these two strings right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So that's good. Now, the other two are actually a little bit more simple. If we only have a right child, but no left child, then of course, we know that the path to the leaf is only going to go through the right node. That's the only path that's going to have a string. So from there, we can just say return helper root dot right passing in cur. And then as you can guess, for the next one, we do the exact same thing except from root dot left. Now we have our helper function, which is going to return us the result, the smallest string. And the only thing we have to do is here, just call it. So helper passing in the original root node. And then for our current string, initially it can just be an empty string. And so this will return the result. And that's what we're going to return from the outer function. Let's run it to make sure that it works. Okay, I don't know uh, what I was thinking. I don't know why I still have this string here. Really sorry about that. This should be changed to cur. Let's retry that. And as you can see, it works. It's pretty efficient. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Check out neatcode.io for more. And hopefully I'll see you soon.